<clears throat> hey guys, what's up? It's Kofi here. Uh, I'm just going to do a quick tutorial on my render settings because a lot of people have been asking me what they are. I make a tutorial, stuff like that. So here it is, really. Anyway, just get uh, your random any clip in that you want. Just highlight it or render, whatever. Yeah. I go, go just go to File, Render As. Um, Windows Media Video 11. WMV. Make sure it's on that. Well, that's what I use. Uh, I've got my settings saved as a preset, but I'm going to show you what they are, of course. Right, you go to 6 megabytes per second HD 720 to 30p video. Then you go to custom. You inclu include your audio if you're recording it, obviously. Um, copy down what's there. And then video. Uh, mode CBR. Format Windows Media Video 9. Right, make sure you go to custom via image size. Width 900, height 500. So yeah, it's 900 by 500. Leave it at uh, one square actually. Make sure your frame rate's on 29.97 NTSC. Seconds per keyframe will be five. That's what I use. Um, put this up to eight uh, seconds on your override default compression buffer. But make sure you have your height ticked as well. And just put the video smoothness all the way up to 100, it doesn't make much of a difference, but you're right as well. Bit rate. Um, mine's on 6 megabytes, so you, I don't know, you should put the odds to that, I guess. Um, that doesn't make a difference, I don't know what this stuff is, so yeah, I'm, you don't really need this. Project. Make sure you have it on best, so that it always renders in the best quality that it can. And you just go to OK. Or you can save it as something, so the template right there. You can just save it as like uh, Dazzle render settings. And then uh, you can use what you want. It's up to you. And then just save it there. Save template. I'm not going to save it because I've already got it saved. And then yeah, just name your file. Whatever. And then you just click save and it will render in my settings. They'll probably take a bit longer than standard settings and stuff like that but you will get better quality out of it also another thing I like to add a little track motion which is right here as you can see this comes up and it changes like uh, what it renders in so people probably wonder how do you get those black borders at the side and how do you crop all the sides out and stuff so what you do you stretch it out until the black bars at the sides have disappeared you up or down until you have like the little black bars how much you want it I just have it round there and yeah, that's about it, not really. Nothing else to it, to be honest. That's just my render settings. I uh, hope you enjoyed. Make sure you subscribe. Alright, bye.